Dear viewers, today I am going to show the high power module inverter 3 phase developed by National Infotech. So, this is the new design of 3 phase high power module inverter. Okay, so first of all, we will discuss the power circuit. So, here you can uh, see uh, the, there is a rectifier, desilling capacitors, individual 3 leg of IGBTs. Okay, and uh, here there is a 3 current sensor and here you can see one voltage sensor dc link voltage sensor and ac current sensor okay and uh, you can see here is the driver card okay uh, it will provide the protection with the uh, short circuit protection d set protection shoot through protection all the protection uh, it will take care okay and uh, here uh, you can connect the input of the gate pulses okay a1 a, a ga ga dash gb gb dash gc gc dash and uh, here you can connect the 5 volt and ground from the controller okay and uh, this is the sensor output so you can connect here ia ib ic okay so you uh, you can uh, get uh, the i current so you can connect this uh, output to the controller and uh, this is the dc sensor vdc is here and this is the temperature sensor output and this is the driver status if any fault occurs this led will be indication okay and if everything is healthy this led will be on okay and this is the reset button if any fault occurs this led will be on then you can just uh, turn off this power supply and everything then you can just press the uh, wait for the uh, discharge of this DC link capacitor then you can uh, after discharging the capacitor you can just press the reset button then uh, fault will be clear and uh, you can get the ready button uh, ready LED on only okay so uh, this is the main panel okay and uh, here is the calibration so input voltage is 0 to 750 volt DC and uh, out this is the calibration of the sensors so dc sensor is there so 0 to 750 vdc you can get the 3 volt average with zero offset and uh, for the ac sensor uh, you can get uh, get the 0 to 10 ampere current at 3 volt peak to peak what with 1.5 volt offset okay and this is some cohesion and knots you can follow it okay so first uh, now we will see the connection how you can done the three phase inverter and single phase inverter and grid tied inverter and everything okay so this is the input terminal so you can connect r y b here uh, three phase r y b here and uh, you can get uh, the dc voltage here with the uh, help of this three phase rectifier okay so three phase rectifier is directly connected here three phase is connected directly in the rectifier and uh, we'll get the dc link voltage okay so this is the separate section for the rectifier after rectifier we will uh, provide the dc link capacitor so we have provide two capacitors uh, series capacitor and uh, uh, also provide the mid uh, point okay so you can uh, get the mid voltage also and you can uh, get the full voltage also okay then uh, uh, three modules of igbt is connected here so you can see this is for the r phase igbt module this is the y phase igbt module and this is the b phase igbt module each and every igbt module are individually connected okay if you want to connect single phase inverter only then you can connect only two legs if you want to work with the three phase inverter then you can connect the all three legs okay and uh, uh, this at this terminal you can get the output of the uh, modules okay so if uh, there is a one module okay r phase module is there so it is high switch low switch and in between that you can get the output voltage okay so here this this uh, point is connected here okay and for b phase this point b dash is connected here and uh, for c phase this midpoint is connected here okay if you want only the 
थ्री फेज इन्वर्टर विदाउट सेंसर देन यू कैन कनेक्ट द आउटपुट टू वोल्टेज टर्मिनल हियर ओके यू फर्गेट दिस पॉइंट्स एंड यू कैन जस्ट कनेक्ट आर वाई बी हियर ओके देन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कनेक्ट दी सेंसर आउटपुट सेंसर करंट सेंसर देन यू कैन शॉर्ट दिस टर्मिनल टू दिस टर्मिनल एंड यू कैन गेट कनेक्ट द आउटपुट वायर हियर देन यू कैन गेट द सेंसर आउटपुट फ्रॉम हियर ओके सो नाउ हाउ कैन वी कनेक्ट इन्वर्टर एंड रेक्टिफायर एंड एवरी थिंग ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सप्लाई दिज इन्वर्टर to the low power means uh, 48 volt with the smps then you can directly connect the smps output here okay positive here and negative here then you can short this uh, positive dc link rail then negative dc link rail okay then you can get the output here okay if you want to connect the sensors uh, of ia ib and ic then you can short this point to this point this point to this point and this point to this point then you can connect the output here okay so there is a two uh, function first with smps without sensor and with sensor you can get it okay and uh, second is if you want to sense uh, input dc link voltage then you can short this point to this point this point to this point then you uh, your uh, dc link voltage sensor is connected okay so you can get the dc link voltage output here okay if you uh, if you don't uh, want the dc link voltage sensor output then you don't connect the short links from here to here here to here okay you just connect r this shortly three short links this three short links and you can get the output from here if you want to connect the ac current sensor then you can short this link this link here uh, with short links and you can connect the output here then you can get the output voltage now uh, another thing is if you want uh, uh, high power ratings inverter okay so you can uh, you want the high power high voltage dc link voltage so you can connect the rectifier here so first you can connect the three phase supply here uh so you can get the dc link voltage from the rectifier so you can connect the rectifier to the dc link capacitor so here you can connect the short links to connect the uh, capacitor dc link capacitor so here this and here this you can uh, short these links and you can get the pure dc link here okay then uh, you can connect this dc link to inverter okay here then here then here all the points you can connect okay so you can get the uh, a high power inverter output okay then also you can connect the negative dc link here here to here then here to here then here to here then here to here okay and if you want uh, uh, only the inverter you don't uh, want to the dc link voltage sensor then you don't connect this dc link voltage sensor here to here if you want the dc link sensor output then you can connect all the short links positive and negative then you can connect uh, one short links to negative to here dc link negative and uh, this positive to dc link positive okay so you can get the dc link uh, sensor output okay then uh, this uh, at this point if you want the three phase inverter without sensor with high power then you can connect the output here forget this points and you can connect the output here directly and uh, you can uh, get the three phase high power uh, and uh, if you want ac sensor output with current sensor then you can short these links 1 2 3 then you uh, can connect the output terminals here then you can get the uh, three phase high power with current sensor and uh, if you have connected this then you can get the voltage sensor output here okay and uh, uh, another uh, thing in this inverter is if you want to connect this inverter with the grid tied inverter then uh, you can connect uh, 
inductor in the line okay so uh, here function is provided so here you can uh, connect the input okay uh, and uh, you can connect in between these two terminal you can connect the inductors okay so it will work like a line inductor okay so uh, here this input inductor then you can connect directly to here okay it is internally connected so here so you can get here okay so likewise this you can connect the three inductor and you uh, you can convert this inverter through the grid tight inverter or uh, line inductor okay so likewise this it is uh, working perfectly okay so this is the new model of the high power module inverter thank you